it's Tina Palacios here, and I'm not even sure if I'm still the community manager after the debacle from Ghosts, but I still work here somehow, so I'm gonna help break down the trailer of Infinite Warfare, our latest installment to the Call of Duty franchise for you. We pulled a Nintendo and released the information about our new product at a time when nobody was even awake in the United States. The trailer starts with some scenes we jacked from Cloverfield and the first Avengers movie to simulate an attack on Earth, but we did it in black and white to indicate that it's a past event. At this point, you're probably wondering, is this the trailer from Independence Day Resurgence or for the new Call of Duty game? Well, since it's humans and not aliens attacking like all of the previous movie references, we put a new spin on an old trick. Next, we move over into color where the music starts to build up. After getting absolutely slaughtered in the reviews of Ghost saying it wasn't innovative enough, we pushed ourselves to the point where the soldiers here look identical to the ones from Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. So, it's exactly more of the same for the franchise, but different for us, and that's what matters, right? Right? Oh, and those definitely are not exo packs on their backs running into combat, nor is that an exo jump in the lower left hand corner of the screen here. It's a boost jump. See those jet propulsions? Then we get some voiceover dialogue about how the attack was actually coming from inside the house. Yet another nod to scary movies. See that guy doing a barrel roll? If he had an exo suit on, he could have boosted out of the way, so definitely no exos here. The next thing we see are some ships taking out the soldiers and another hopping into a jet, yet another tip of the cap to Independence Day chasing down the mothership. Oh, and how did we afford to get President Obama to do the voice acting here? This next sequence here shows our transition from a traditional battle space leaving boots on the ground behind that you all know and love, and going into outer space. Move over, Star Fox, there's a new kid in town. Oh, and to capitalize on death just like we're doing to the franchise, we took a terrible, edgy version of Space Oddity by David Bowie to drive the point home that we're going to be fighting in outer space. We purposely chose the lyrical content to reinforce the idea that we're pushing ourselves and the franchise even further away from the elements that made it great in the first place because let's be honest after ghost failed we have no idea what we're doing anymore we just took the space mission that everyone seemed to love in the ghost campaign and made it the focus of our new game with also throwing in some robots here and there like black ops 3 did oh and you can see in this shot that grapple mode will return in infinite warfare and neck twist executions like in titanfall don't worry folks we got chappy to help us out out, navigate through the spaceships of which will be the battlegrounds for a multiplayer portion of the game. This game looks nothing like the one we know from our years of playing Call of Duty, so press F to pay respects to the demise of the franchise. Oh wait, just like a Billy Mays commercial, there's more just to fuel that hype train up, the shit you all actually want to play, the Call of Duty 4 Remaster. Just how a girl loves shiny things in the jewelry store, a nerd likes shiny renderings for his scenes in his video games. We see the scenes from the campaign of Call of Duty 4, which are basically just the ultra settings on PC with a dash of color and a pop of light, along with the tagline, stay frosty at the end. The legacy edition of the game is only $80, so we're only forcing you to spend 20 more than a standard game to get one from nine years ago. Oh, and unlike what we did for criticism of our last game, we're gonna ignore the almost 25% dislike ratio on the trailer video.